Hello everybody and welcome to a very quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering the very basics of setting up a military squad. This video is assuming that you already have some sort of weapons around your fortress. And if you don't have any, that's okay too. But you might want to make sure that you have at the very least some spears or some shields lying around. It doesn't really matter what material they're made out of as long as you have something. That being said, even if you have nothing, wrestlers are fine too. So, we're just going to really quick make a squad. Now, this is going to be focused on a melee squad. So, what you're going to do is you're going to need to create a new squad. Before you can do that, you're going to need to select a dwarf to assign as militia commander. Which is very simple. You simply pop up the uh, nobles screen. As you can see, we already have one here. And then you're going to click on the plus symbol right next to this button and you're going to add yourself a new militia commander. But since we already have one, we don't need to assign another one. Once again, that is the nobles screen down here. And then once you've finished that, you're going to go over here and we're either going to press Q to open up the squad sidebar or click on this little flag down here. Then from here, we're going to click on this button to create a new squad. From here, we have to a real quick choice. What kind of armor do we want? We can either select no uniform, archer, which we'll go over in a different video, or metal armor, or leather armor. In this case, we're just going to select metal armor, as I do have full sets of armor in the basement alongside of spears. So now that we've selected metal armor, uh, we're, we have several options of what we can do. Um, we can select the squad. Uh, we have a symbol for the squad. Uh, if we select the squad, it's going to allow us to assign a leader to the squad, or uh, we can name the squad. So we're going to name the squad first, and we're just going to call it uh, Tutorial Squad, uh, which is the best squad. And once we've named the squad, we're going to assign a leader. Now, the nice thing about the way the game works now is it actually gives you uh, the idea of who has some relevant skills. So if they happen to have some skills towards this particular trade, it will actually pop up down beneath. So this, as you can see, this is a this dwarf is an axe dwarf. This dwarf is a spear dwarf. Spear dwarf, spear dwarf. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll see our active military. And it will tell us who is in the active military. So what we want to do is we want to find a couple dwarves that have some skills. Or alternatively, if we want to be really picky, we could go into the dwarves' descriptions and only select dwarves dwarves that have uh, either great skills or don't get easily stressed by combat, but we're not going to worry about that too much. We're going to assign a leader. Once we've assigned a leader, it's going to give us 10 positions. We're going to add an axe dwarf, a dwarf who's another axe dwarf, a dwarf who's a swords dwarf, a spear dwarf, a spear dwarf, a spear dwarf, and uh, I'm running out of relevant skills. Well, that's not too good. Let's scroll down a little bit and see if anybody else has skills. Uh, looks like we're out of relevant skills, so instead of being all fancy and making sure that the dwarves are going to enjoy this job, they're just going to get it. So we're going to give them a few more jobs, and we're all the way down to position 10 now, and we're going to throw in uh, this traitor here. So now that we have our full squad assigned, we can now go back to squads. And we have an option here. We can click this button. Now this button allows us to look at our dwarves schedule for tutorial squad. Uh, if we open up this uh, button, we can see the original squad that we have as well. This gives us our training schedule, and we have a bunch of different options here. We've got monthly orders, uh, uh, month, uh, we, we can have them training monthly. If we click this, we can see the full schedule. We can either have them off-duty, where they don't train at all. Uh, if we want them to train, uh, like, every three months, uh, we can give them staggered training. We could give them constant training, which is what I recommend initially, or, uh, ready. If you set them as ready, then all that they will do is stay in their uniforms, ready to fight, and waiting. And waiting. And waiting until it's time to fight. Uh, they will run around and take care of their needs, though. Um, so they will pray to gods or go to taverns or eat and drink and the stuff that they do need to do, but they will just be ready to fight on order, right? So we're going to set them to training. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make them a barracks. Now, a barracks is a very simple zone. As you can see, I kind of have one already set up over here, but we're going to make you a second one. So a barracks is a, uh, a zone that is found right here underneath the little flag. We're going to make this barracks and accept it, and then we're going to click on this little flag here. Now this little flag uh, asks us what we want to do with this space. So we already have the spear magnets, which is our main squad, but we have these three options. We could put beds into this zone and set it up as a sleeping barracks. So I could attach it to that other barracks and make it into a sleeping zone. Uh, we could set them to store uh, weapons here, store their, uh, their squad level equipment here, as well as ammunition. That's more for archers though. And we can also set them to train here. So I'm going to set this squad to train here. And if we unpause the game, very quickly, we will notice they will run up here and begin trading after they go and get all of their gear. So I will resume the video once they return. 
Something to note while they are selecting their gear, if we actually click on the squad check mark and then click on the equip button, you can actually see the gear as they equip it in real time. It's kind of useful, including their backpacks, which these dwarves do need, as well as, uh, you know, uh, like stuff to fill up their backpacks with. Another thing that you can note while we're waiting for the dwarves to show up is we can assign a new uniform if we want by simply clicking on this equip button right down here and then clicking assign uniform and then the uniform we want them to use. If we want them to update equipment, we can click this button. That'll make them run off and go get better quality versions of the weapon that they already have. And if we want to add uniform, that is adding one to this list, we can click on that, name the uniform anything we want, and then by simply clicking on these separate buttons here, we can add different headwear, different legwear, maybe we want to give them something super specific, we can set whether or not we want them to wear it over their clothing, and we can also say whether or not we want them to use partial matches only. So do we want them to strip their normal clothes off to put bigger armor over top? I usually just let them do that, but it does give them a slight dodging debuff, I've been told. I've never noticed an issue personally. I will return once everything is fully equipped. So now that the squad has arrived, there are several other things I would like to walk through. There is this tool down here, which is assign a kill order. I do not recommend ever using this on one of your own dwarves, as it can cause some absolute catastrophes of dwarven mental breakdowns. Uh, there's the station order, which is pretty useful. It allows you to tell the squad to go somewhere specific. You simply click on the station order, and then select the location, and then they will go there. If I unpause the game, you'll see them run over there. Um... Then there's the assign a patrol route, which is pretty simple. You simply select waypoints, and then you can turn on the route or turn the route off in the schedules screen. Uh, there is the burrow defense. That's a little bit more complicated, but it allows you to tell them to defend a specific section of the map if you use burrows. This isn't an advanced tutorial. This is just basics, after all. And then there's lastly, uh, assign a training order. The squad must be assigned to a barracks with a zone and with the training option set. This is just an automatic training order. But if we turn on schedule, which we've already done, we don't need to worry about that. Also note in the schedule, you can, if you go into the edit screen, um, you can assign specific different dwarves to schedule and all of that. That fancy jazz. So, while the military in Dwarf Fortress can be a very complicated thing if overthought, it's also a very simple thing if you just skim over the basics levels of it. Hopefully this video was helpful enough to help you allow to allow you to set up at the very least a basic military, even if you've just purchased a couple swords and you have two shields. You don't need a full squad to run a military. Keep in mind you can run a military with just three dwarves even, or even one dwarf. It's maybe not even a bad idea to set up a military like this with one dwarf and a starter axe right at the start if you're in an untamed wilds biome, as an example. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like these tutorials, give this YouTube channel a sub. I have a whole ton of these at this point, and also I stream quite frequently over on twitch.tv slash blindirl. I just want to say a real quick thank you to everybody who's come along with these uh, massive influx of people I've had over the past few days. It's been kind of mad, and you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.